สวัสดีค่ะ Hello everyone My name is Sophia Nimo Pra or you can call me Nimo I'm a student at International School of Management Majoring in International Business Management And he is my partner Hey everyone My name is Sophia Nick Marius And you can call me Nick I'm a student at International School of Management And majoring in International Business Management Basically, the purpose of making this video is that we want to share our experience about our internship, what has been done, and what is our job responsibility, and like the problem and solution that we have done during that time. And we just finished our cooperative education at UTC. Everyone, you're gonna wonder what is cooperative education at UTC. So, like, can you tell them more detail about it? So, uh, this program is an education system that combine teaching and learning activity in university and also like in work plan. It provides an opportunity for students like they can have a real experience before they leave in the university. And today we prepared some questions that is going to be useful for our friend or junior that they want to do the cooperative education. Let's start from the first question. Nate, like how did you get to that company and like uh, how did you choose the company? Mm. So, uh, after we join uh, the cooperative education, they're gonna provide us like uh, so many companies that already cooperate with the university. When I saw the CPO company, like I really interested in the company because it's an international company and mm -hmm. like they have many many business in hand. So Nimo, how about you? For me, I know that 7-Eleven is under CPO company and I see like the potential of their company, like how they grow every year. So that's why I want to get to know them more that I apply for their company for my internship. Uh, by the way, Nate, can you tell them like what is our job or our responsibility at that company? As we know, in the company have many departments and the department that we choose is human resource development and we work as a co-trainer. We have a chance to train and learn the concept in the Panyatara Training Center and also we have a great opportunity to practice in 7 Eleven also. So after you already done the internship, so how did you feel about the experience? Personally, it's such a new experience for me that I have an opportunity to practice my skill, my knowledge, my ability that I learned from the university to apply those at the real working place outside of the university. Since it's first time that we went outside the university, so uh, do you have any difficulty or problem and how can you solve it? Actually, we don't have any difficulty, but since we are international students, and we are not really fluent in Thai. At the workplace, they use Thai language a lot and other concepts are conducted in Thai language too. So it's somehow a little bit difficult. Luckily, during our first year, university provide us like Thai language subject so we can understand basic, basic Thai language. We can apply those basic knowledge and, uh, and English to communicate with our advisors easier for us during the internship period. Can you give us some suggestion for our friend or our junior that will join the cooperative education? For the very first thing that I want to share to our friend or our junior that want to apply for the internship program is that you guys should be well prepared all the time, should be ready what kind of the company that you want to apply for and want to work at as well as like, um, like what kind of department that you want to work for but if you don't have any company in mind, don't worry because like in a cooperative education program uh, they're gonna provide many company like they gonna list down many company for you so you can choose that in the system Besides from that you need to flexible because you don't know like what kind of nature that you're gonna work with and also the job that they assign for you so you must be flexible all the time As well as time management is also very important like uh, you shouldn't be late for your job and you must be responsibility of your job as well Moreover, you also should understand basic knowledge about Microsoft Word or Microsoft PowerPoint because you're gonna use it at, uh, at the workplace and last but not least, if you are an international student, basic Thai language is very important for you because you study in Thailand and of course you're gonna intern at the Thai company. So it's gonna be very useful for you in communicate with the Thai people. 
uh, this is the end of our video. Stay safe, be healthy, and good luck for your internship. Bye bye. bye, -bye.